Girls of Color Initiative is a national initiative designed to support the leadership and movement building of girls of color and gender expansive youth in the United States. At the Ms. Foundation, we believe that girls should be safe, they should be seen, they should be supported. We know that with the right experiences and opportunities that they have the power and the passion to design their own future, to write their own stories, and to create the change that they want to see in the world. And the Girls of Color Initiative exists to do just that. Hi, my name is Logan. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And I'm Georgetown Law Center on Gender Justice and Opportunities, Incoming Youth, Storyteller, and Residence. I'm 17 years old. I'm from West Orange, New Jersey. I'm a part of Grassroots Community Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization with the mission for all girls to grow up to be healthy women. I'm currently the teen ambassador of N Period Poverty there. I'm 17. I'm from the Chicagoland area. I'm with Chicago Freedom School, which is a nonprofit organization that seeks to bring in black and brown youth from the inner city area of Chicago and educate them on practices of healing justice, liberatory justice, restorative justice. I am 18 years old and I'm representing Justice for Black Girls. I can't believe that I have the opportunity to support the leadership of girls of color and gender expansive youth of color because they really are on the front lines of all the fights for change. When we think about the change that we want to see in this world, it's them that's going to be able to create that for us. So I'm really proud that we can support that for them and we can support it in the way that they want to see it. We don't determine what that support looks like for them, they get to choose that. So I'm ecstatic to be able to support them in that. My biggest sources of inspiration come from my family and community members and forging and filling genuine and authentic connections and sources of love. They reaffirm me of not just my value, but of the possibilities as a society as a whole. Understanding that love is possible, that love is there and that it's present and leaning into those sources by means of fulfillment and sustainability. When I think of someone inspiring, I always think of someone I've seen up close, someone I've seen experience all the triumphs and tribulations of life and been able to overcome those. For that reason, I think my mom, Lisa Maxwell, and Ekwe inspires me. She is a Black woman, a Jamaican immigrant, who has always invested in me and made sure that I live a life where I can make all my dreams come true. My mom has taught me since I was a kid that it is important to use all my gifts and talents to make a change in the world. And I've always had the mission to use my gifts and talents to make a change because I've always wanted to make her proud. Ancestor Toni Morrison inspires me because how she was able to normalize Black women and girls' perspectives in narratives about them. As an aspiring storyteller myself, I find it imperative to honor and center the voices of the people whose stories I wish to tell. Judge Kentonji Brown Jackson and Michelle Obama inspire me because they use their voices to advocate for change and inspire other girls like me to do the same. As I grow increasingly inspired by these women, I am hopeful of what's to come. They teach other girls like me that we are more than what society tells us, that we are pioneers, we're conquerors, we're innovators, we're visionaries, and we're invincible. It brings me joy to see people doing the things they are passionate about. Whether it be seeing my mom crochet, my grandma cook a home cooked meal, or even re-watching videos of myself performing, it always makes me warm on the inside. It also brings me joy to see people of all different races and backgrounds band together to fight for equity. I remember a moment that always sticks out in my head is the Black Lives Matter movement that happened in 2020. I remember going to my community town hall where we were staging a protest and seeing people I've known all my life fight for an issue that was so personally important to me. I think that that always inspires me to see people be able to empathize and use that empathy to propel them to fight for justice. Crocheting and watching movies brings me joy, typically simultaneously. As of late, it's been my favorite mindfulness practice. And I can find joy within anything. That can be the weather, and even I've learned to embrace rainy days too, understanding that we are, our experiences through life are a reflection and a manifestation of our mindsets and of our thoughts. And so through holding that joy and through projecting it into all that I encounter and experience, I find it reflected back at me. 
A future that is feminist is a future where all women of sexualities, cultural backgrounds, and ethnicities are in positions of power and receiving equal payment as their male peers. I believe Miss Foundation can help us get there by continuing to invest in seemingly small community organizations like Grassroots Community Foundation that are community-centered and knowledgeable and able to target specific issues that are plaguing the population. I believe that with that investment in smaller community organizations, along with pushing for legislation from bigger legislative powers like the Supreme Court, we will be able to create a more equitable world where all women will be able to receive equitable treatment. It's not that a feminist future is a dystopia where men are inferior to women. I see us thriving in spaces that were built with us in mind, spaces where we are a part of conversations in that same space. I see us not being belittled or looked down upon as if we didn't work our way up to the top with all of our experience and education and hard work and prayers. The future I hope to create looks and feels inclusive, liberating, joyful, shameless, healthy, thriving, sustainable, equitable. And I think that by means of supporting that, individuals should start within themselves by confronting the issues that they've internalized themselves. And from there, practicing not just learning, but also the practices of unlearning to better themselves and to extend grace and love to others and to develop a more sustainable and equitable society and community. My vision of a feminist world looks like an environment in which I'm not concerned about whether my speech attitude, dress, or overall presentation could put me in danger or label me as too assertive. It feels like a space in which affirmations directed towards Black women and girls are not dehumanizing and fetishizing, but demonstrate genuine love and appreciation for our complexities. What's next for the Girls of Color Initiative? More, more, more. Um, there are so many organizations that we hope to support, so many leaders that we hope to support, um, and we can't really do that without the contribution of people like you.